broken once this week. And 22 A's in the push. My question for Don. At the start of the year, yeah, you weren't doing well. You got knocked out of tournaments early, even though you were planning on play. Now you're hopefully this week a little bit of an upsurge. Absolutely, and I've always played my best when I've had you know, good results in the weeks prior. So um, you know, for, this year, you know, I haven't really had that, that great result. But it is last time I won back-to-back matches. So it's huge on any level, especially this level. To win five matches in a row, it's huge. This game is all about confidence. So the guys at the top of the game are, all, are, are always the most confident. It's just uh, how it goes. So um, I'll, I'll definitely take this in, into my next event and the events after that. Have you ever had a better week of serving? No, to be honest, I don't think so. I just serve excellent. I'm fortunate to have, have that weapon, and I was in a groove for five matches, and it's, it's huge. And I'm very, uh, very lucky to, to, have, to have my serve, and it's what uh, carried me to the championship. I was talking to coach, you know, Bob, in the second serve game, he felt that he felt that he was to win. It's really seen that way today, which is yeah. big serves. Yeah, I was surprised to see how much it, the ball was kicking. Normally on a grass court, it doesn't really kick as much, but this was absolutely perfect serving conditions for me uh, to do this court this tournament. So, uh, you know, I did a lot of damage on my first and second. What did you have to do mentally? You had a chance to close out the tie break on serve, and you looked disappointed, and then... Well, not only that, I mean, I think I had break points at 3-all, break points at 4-all, break points at 5-all. So... Uh, those are essentially match points as well, with how I'm serving. Um, so it's, it's, it's tough, you know, it's a lot more stress to, to close it out a tiebreaker. Especially tiebreaker goes up 6-4 and serving, and uh, it's a 6-all and anything can happen. I've had some finals, especially last year, um, against Sam Clary, I, I was serving for the match, match point on my serve. Lost that game, lost that set, uh, lost the match. I did Sam as well, the last year Memphis side. I was two points away from the match on my serve. So I've had some kind of tough tough results in, in finals, so it's good to be talking about that. It's looking a little bit like, like deja vu. Is that something you know, it gets in the mental block that yeah. right there, I'm not letting this happen again? Exactly, and absolutely I'm just in this, especially those two finals to Sam last year. I, not that I didn't give my best effort in the third set, I just didn't play my best, I was rattled. Um, I, I arguably could have won both matches in Spain sets. And, and uh, I, I let, it, let it get to me and he didn't play well in the third. So this, you know, I told myself, you know, hey, if I, if I lose this second set, I'm still serving well. I'm still probably going to hold serve. So probably going to get some great point opportunities like I created in the opening sets. So it's just a matter of being converting. So I wasn't, wasn't panicking if I lost that set. Still one more to be played. You were able to kind of do that a break point against the first set of the team. Second basis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 30 pole there later in the match. Yeah. Again, respond well. Yeah. I, you know, when I'm playing well, that's when I, I serve my best when my back hits the wall. Down break point, down left 30, 15, 30, whatnot. So, um, and I, did, I did that today. So it's a great sign. I just, I got to stay calm in, in those situations. So it's going to arise in those exact situations in, in my future tournament. So if I can just kind of keep, you know, keep the same process. But you go four wrong with time break. Yeah, I know. Great. Um, you know, that's, that's huge. And I, and I didn't lose a set this week either. So, like I said, winning these, these tiebreakers this week was a lot with uh, a lot to do, a lot to do with my serve. I still felt like you know the, a lot of these matches didn't need to go to the tiebreakers, but uh, like I just, my 
that's where you build me up. My observation is that you're not just a server anymore. Uh, where do you put your ground game as compared to where it was 12, 18 months ago? Yeah, it's, it's a lot better. Um, I feel like, especially this week, I, I felt like I was in a lot, a lot of recurring games. And the one thing I, I will be disappointed about this tournament is my breakpoint conversions. That's, that's the only thing I'll, I'll be disappointed about. Are you aware if you put the ball in play on those points? No, I think I think today especially I played them for the most part very well. I mean, fairly well. And he, uh, he came up with the goods. He some, pass, some passing shots. I mean, I, I forced the issue. So today I wasn't really, uh, wasn't really too. I mean, the stats don't work. One of the tenets says that that's not good. Right? Yeah, you just said last year after the final that uh, Lucas was the best passer on the tour, maybe on the grass court. Yeah, so exactly. And, and he, you know, my, you know, I was going to keep going my forehand and his backhand, and that was the play I was going to use, especially when I come into the net. And, um, I was, you know, when I broke in the first set, I, I forced an error on, on that side. And, but he's just, he has that shot down, forehand and backhand pass. So. It's just a matter of, of hitting a hitting a good approach shot. But uh, he, he came up with a good You had some trouble when you started coming to the net mid-match, and you tended to stay back, and at the end, you came in for a few big volleys. Yeah. Was that a decision to stay back because you were missing some volleys up there? No, no, I don't think so. I, um, what I, for the, I felt today that and the game plan was just to get a lot of returns back in play, which I felt like I did. And when I knew he was going to slice his backhand, but it didn't bother me too much, especially if I could get a forehand off, off of his slice backhand. So I, I liked that, my forehand to his slice back, and I didn't mind that rally. But when he got that slice to my backhand, that's when it got, it got a little bit, a little, little bit hairy. But um, no, I was always just looking, looking to come forward and, and dictate play with my forehand. That's that's always the play, especially on the grass court, especially on, the, on this court. So. Uh, you know, I probably could have come, come into the net a, a little more. That's something I, I need to do on the grass court. Is it difficult for you to play a guy that short, just trying to keep the ball so low? Does that make things it, tough for you? It is. It's very difficult, um, especially you know the way he slices the ball and hits it flat. You know, virtually no top spin, um, and that that works on works on this court. So you know, whereas you know he's hitting balls from his hip, I'm hitting my my, my, my shoelaces. Um, it's that, that's that's why he's so tough out here. I mean, there's, there's a reason he, he does well at this event every year. And that's why. Chris, the casinos. Yeah. Another no question. Longer. Another question okay. about you 18 months ago as compared to now. Fitness level, movement level seems way, way better in my opinion. Movement particularly. Yeah. You know, I said all, I, I felt like even though my results prior to this tournament ha haven't been in as good as they were last year, I still feel like I'm a better player than I was last year. I'm just not quite putting it together. So hopefully with, with this event, I, I can start putting uh, you know, more matches and, and, and better tournaments together because I do feel like I'm a, I'm a more complete player and I'm, I'm moving pretty well. And I'm able to win uh, you know, a handful of points here, here and there on, on defense. And, uh, so, you know, I, I, like, like you said, I, I feel like I'm, I'm better than I was 12 months ago, 18 months ago. Sorry? You have to get a better wedding present now. Yes. <laughs> I, uh, who, who was getting married? Believe it or not, it was my brother. Your brother? Yeah. So you really do? <laughs> yeah, I'm paying for his honeymoon. What is this? Uh, yeah. Saturday. Yeah. What's your brother's name? Nathan. Nathan? He understands. Oh, I'm sure he does. His fiance is, I mean, sorry, it's right now. She, maybe not. What's her name? Oh, Carrie Jo. K-E-R-R. I-E-J-O. Who was the wedding? Left no, it was in uh, uh, South Boston, Virginia. You know, I hate to ask how you feel because it's a trite question, but given the fact that you were not planning to come here, yeah. and you, you took a while back with Mark to explain Marty was going to take this cup, um, and you were going to each other's wedding, yeah. now that you've won, and so many good things happened this week, in that context, how do you feel? Oh, I feel, I feel great. I mean, I told myself that I was going to take Mark for here, and, and the only way I was going to miss the wedding was if I got to the semifinals. And since that's kind of a, a if I'm in the semis, that, that's great. It's going to stink I'm going to miss the wedding. But if I'm not in the semis, I can make the wedding. And 
but it definitely turned out to be a great decision, and I owe a huge thanks to Tyler Stanley for, for the wild card. This is a perfect start to the summer, and I really feel like my, my best start is Yes, I am. Monday and Tuesday. All right. Anything else for the town? Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, John.